Hey everybody, Rob Rosenberger here for Mostly22LR. In this bonus video, I want to offer some tips and tricks for a solvent trap bottle adapter like this one from Infinite Product Solutions. If you're not familiar with solvent trap adapters in general, then click on this link here, skip to the 44 second mark, and it'll bring you right up to speed. First, you want to choose the right water bottle or soda bottle. Now, many of today's eco-friendly water bottles have reduced the total plastic they use. It saves money and it creates less waste, which is great for the environment, but not so great for the solvent trap. The basic design of any soda bottle tends to follow the beverage industry's standard for carbonated sodas, but one of the ways water bottlers cut down on plastic is by changing the bottle threads from the industry standard. So I've come up with a simple litmus test to see if a water bottle will fit this adapter. You just screw the water caps onto, say, a Coke or a Pepsi bottle. If the water bottle cap won't fit a soda bottle, then this adapter won't fit that water bottle. And as you can see right here, this Deer Park does not fit a, water, a soda bottle. So that's a simple litmus test, folks. Another problem is that the shoulder and the base now tend to be very flimsy plastic. This one here does have some vertical straps molded into it for structural support, but it might not be good enough for our needs. This bottle was designed with the idea that I'd hold the panel body still with my weak hand and I'd twist the cap onto it with my strong hand. Except here, the weights are flipped upside down. It's top-heavy when you've got a steel adapter over an empty soda bottle. You may find yourself attaching it the other way around by holding the adapter with your weak hand while you twist the empty bottle into it, turning it at the shoulder or at the base. So now you know. Correct threading, strong shoulder, strong base, that's the bottle you want. I haven't yet found a water bottle that passes the litmus test, but if you know of one, please tell us about it in the comments for this video. Thanks. Okay, so we've been talking about pony bottles, but what about a two liter? I mean, I myself drink two liter sodas because on average, stores charge more for a 16 or a 20 ounce bottle. And to quote the onion, I could urinate two liters for you right now. That's nothing. <laughs> The nice thing about a 2 liter soda bottle is that it's designed to withstand a lot of carbonated pressure. The plastic is structurally sound. But regardless what size bottle you decide to use, just know that you can clean your gun with confidence and then dispose of it properly. It's that simple. So here's a 2 liter in action. It looks weird, but hey, if you're going to clean your gun and you've got big empty bottles lying around and you're going to throw them out anyway, then pff, why not? And I know what you're thinking. You want to see the whole, you want to see the whole rifle in, in frame. So I'll put a picture up for you right now. Here comes the picture. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned a few tips and tricks for the solvent trap bottle adapter from Infinite Product Solutions. It's an easy, disposable way to keep your indoors clean while you're cleaning your guns. I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22 LR. And remember, 22 LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.